democracy, or that is to say the right to elect one's government, um, to, to have the rule of law, to have a civil society, those are all rights issues. Um, in order to have a democracy, you really do have respect for a broad range of rights. It's hard to conceive, in, fa in fact, almost tautologically, if you don't have democracy, you won't have respect for basic rights. The real problem, though, is that many people take a, a sort of a narrow conception of democracy and equate that with rights, and that equation is wrong. You find this um, where, where governments from you know, really Reagan all the way up to the current Bush administration have tried to promote mere elections as being the, the, the full scope of the human rights agenda. And if we can just you know, get a government to hold an election, regardless of how corrupt it is, regardless of what's done to, to imprison the opposition or to shut down the opposition newspaper or to you know, get rid of dissidents, we'll still call it a democracy because they held an election and then everything's fine. We can ignore their human rights record. That superficial notion, which unfortunately tends to prevail all too frequently in Washington, um, that, in no, that has very little to do with, with a human rights agenda. But I think a more sophisticated, a fuller understanding of democracy is very compatible indeed to a large extent equates with um, a, a complete human rights agenda.